All right, guys, I'm uh, going to talk to you about the fire hydrant. Um, small muscle exercise for you, okay? Uh, done with one of the resistance bands. When we do it, try to have the band below the knees, all right? Um, so when you look at it, it's going to be not at the patella, all right, slightly below, all right? What that will do is actually give you um, optimal amount of resistance and a little bit of challenge for the knee to actually push out as you go through the movement, okay? So. The movement is done on hands and knees here, okay? And when you're in this position, even just starting in a position like this, you gotta make sure that you're uh, correct here, okay? So make sure that the hands are underneath the shoulders, all right? You don't have a big depression through the spine, okay? Nice flat back as you go through, okay? And in this position, you even wanna think about bracing the core, okay? So keep that core tight as you go through it. That'll stabilize the movement as you pull that leg up, all right? and try not to rotate the hips as you go through this here, okay? Think about keeping the hips and shoulders square to the floor, all right? Pulling the knee up to the ceiling, all right? And as you can see why this is called the fire hydrant, all right? Pulling up that inside leg, all right? Um, and maintaining the resistance. Try not to just be pulling this thing around, okay? Nice, solid movement as you come up. Try to work through the full range the, that you can handle as you go through it. Um, Play around with different resistance as you go through this. Um, and again, this can be done in uh, duration of time or repetition, okay? Um, that is your fire hydrant, enjoy.